What is up, everypony? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are looking at the black tree virus or black tree disease. Once again, we are doing part three. This is one of the best AUs that's come out. It's definitely within my top five. It is very solid, and I'm really looking forward to getting into part three here. So I haven't looked at it since we last looked at it a couple months ago. I believe the last part we saw was where it introduced the Blossom virus, where they're more docile and try to avoid ponies in order to avoid affecting them because they're quite conscious on it. So we're going to be taking a look. We got quite a few episodes to go through. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got seven slides to go through today for part three of the Black Tree Disease. So I hope y'all are ready for this. I know I am. So let's jump right in in three, two, one. We got My Little Pony Horror AQ, The Black Tree Disease by Siras Vadi. It's been two months since the outbreak, and we still stuck here in this dirty shelter. Let's just focus on the others. I gotta check how Floor is doing with the amputation. Floor, I just wanted to check if you're... Oh no. Discomfort, imagine. Oh, Jesus. Dear Celestia, this is why Babseed has been hiding herself for weeks now. We have to leave now. Every pony, run! Next, no time to explain. Fifteen minutes later. What in the unholy stars happened? Babseed is infected and killed Floor. Now great, how are we going to find another shelter? I don't know, but we can't stay outside here much longer. We have to go up the mountains to find a cave or something. So we do, do we have to move now? It's for the best we do it now. I hope we can find something. We got another part here. Got Zakora. Oh, you poor thing. It still eats you up from the inside to the outside, even though you were gone. I have been studying you for a while now. I tried everything. I even tried to get infected, stepping into plants while having wounded hooves. I inhaled particles. Nothing happened in weeks. Please tell me, Scoot, am I really immune to that disease? If yes, then I have to find a cure. I have to save every pony before that fungus kills every tiny, teeny single thing around Equestria. Alright. So as I posted on my recent announcement, I have been fighting for a while and have huge trouble with my kidneys. I forgot to post this because of how bad it did hit me. I was at the hospital today and it official confirmed that I am suffering of bladder cancer stage 2. The next month I will be heading to chemotherapy to get cancer removed and stable. It's not dangerous for now and so far my doctor told me that I might recover in a few months. So it will take a whole while to have time for myself and post new episodes of my series. And I hope you guys aren't mad at me for it. I will keep you all updated. Thank you for understanding. Um, I hope you get better. I hope everything goes well for you. Here we go. Watch oh, it. Do you think she's okay? She seems kind of odd. Besides, she's never been like this. Well, we did destroy her kingdom and took all her changelings out, but she doesn't seem to be mad anymore. Well, not at us anymore. Do you think she will recover from all of this? I think not. She worked so hard on all of this. Hey, Chrysalis, are you okay? Yes, of course I am fine. Besides, the, those weren't my changelings anyway. Well, they still were in my eyes. I saw how scared and confused they were. They couldn't control themselves. I saw how much they were suffering. But who cares anyway? We have to go. Come on, we don't have all day. Are you sure we will be okay? Yes, Cadence, we will be okay. You just gotta believe. We gotta believe to find my sister one day, hoping she isn't infected. We also gotta believe in us, that we are going to be okay. Alright. So, why are you here anyway? Did Celestia send you a message or anything else? Because it is kind of weird that you were here. I am just curious. So why aren't you back in your own world? Oh, it was actually Twilight. She wrote to me that an outbreak is going through Equestria, some sort of weird disease or something. I was going to visit her, but she acted so odd towards me. As soon as I went through the mirror, I felt an uncomfortable feeling. But I brushed it off and instantly headed to Twilight. I was hoping she would be okay. But as soon as I entered, she immediately went hostile towards me, yelling at me that I should leave. I didn't know why, but I couldn't approach her. She said that it's a trap that I have to head to the mirror in an instant or something. Leave, leave, leave. 
Later on, I rushed back to the mirror to get more prepared. What would come towards me as soon as I was about to enter the portal? That happened. I didn't know what it was, but I felt what awful presence right in front of me. Roots. Black roots were covering up the mirror. I couldn't use my magic against it or trying to get through. All I heard were whispers, small voices, and some other stuff I didn't know what they were saying. After all this, I came up with a theory. Twilight said that before the outbreak, Celestia went missing for like three days, and after she came back, the outbreak happened in an instant. Whole Equestria got infected in only one week. Some survived and some not. But somehow, some pony was trying to get rid of everything. I don't want to blame any pony, but what if it's Celestia? What if she was the one who caused the disease and tried to cover it up and blame Twilight? Ooh, that's, that's something. We got some, that's a good point right there. That's solid. What if she was the villain? Ooh. That's, that's wow. Today we'll check on my patients, which I have captured a few days ago. They haven't changed a lot. When I last checked on them, except one. Let's look at the notes, shall we? Test subject number 001. Name, Thunderlane. Species, Pegasus. Status, Mutated. Vine Mutation. Stage 2. I captured him near the Ponyville schoolhouse, two miles away. He kept vomiting vines and couldn't stop coughing. I held him in my bunker for experiments. How long the stages go? Hostility is 67%, docility is 45%, and sanity is 34%. Test subject number 003. Name, Lotus Blossom. Species, Earth Pony. Status, Mutated. Blossom Mutation. Stage 2. I captured her near my hut in the Everfree Forest, five miles away. She tried to flee when I tried to capture her. I held her in my bunker for experiments on how long it will take her to die to the mutation. Hostility is 10%, docility is 95%, and sanity is 88%. Test subject number 002. Name, Scootaloo. Species, Pegasus. Status, Deceased. Sprout phase. Stage, I think that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Stage 6. I captured her near my hut in the Everfree Forest, 8 miles away. She was already dead when I ever first found her. I held her in my bunker for experiments of how long it can't survive without oxygen. Hostility, or hostility is 93%, docility is 2%, and sanity is unknown. This is how I currently keep them in my bunker, safe in any room as possible. They seem to get used to it, but I still have to keep an eye open for them. Thunderlane vomits non-stop. Poor pony. I can tell the room will be full of blossoms. I have to clean it up next time. As I said, only one patient has changed a lot, which is Scootaloo. The roots started to act aggressive with the new environment, and it only happened like two days later, and it already looked so disturbing and alive. Oh my god. I'm just glad she doesn't feel anything anymore. And we got the last slide here. Scootaloo and Apple Bloom, or uh, Sweetie Belle and Apple Bloom, my apologies. Aw, they're just playing around in the snow. Sweetie Belle, look, there are flowers. Uh-oh. What are those? Applejack told me those are nasturtiums. Nasturtiums. You can actually eat them because of how healthy they are. I'm hungry anyway. Let's try them before the others catch us. Okay, sweetie. They eat them. Oh, they got the blossom virus now. No! No! I should have kept an eye open for them. I'm sorry, to Rarity. And, uh, I'm sorry, Rarity and Applejack. Oh no, poor Sweetie Belle and Apple Bloom. Oh no, that's so unfortunate. At least they're not gonna die a painful or um, uncomfortable death. At least they're gonna be quite content and try to avoid other ponies to avoid infecting them. But the story's still going very strong. I like how Queen Chrysalis is keeping her head up, even though all her changelings are deceased and gone. I feel really bad for Scootaloo, but the infection for Scootaloo appears to even worsen from the last time I seen it, due to the new environment Zakora put them in. I would assume it was Zakora due to the fact the text bubble was white. Not only that, Sunset, I believe that's her name, Sunset, Sunset Shimmer, I believe, came back to Ponyville and had a good theory that Celestia might be the villain of all this. Which, due to the lack of Celestia being around and the fact that ponies are dying left and right to the Black Tree Virus, it makes perfect sense. 
It, and I've seen other AUs where Celestia has indeed been the villain. For example, Foul Phillies, Celestia was the biggest asshole. But there's not much else I can really say about this. It's still going very good. Also, I really hope the creator of the virus gets well from their bladder cancer. I hope things go well for them and I hope they improve. Um, all love and support for them. So that's all I really got to say. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Dislike if you didn't. It's completely fine either way. And that's all I got to say. So thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Fuck on life, I can't even make you perfect timing